Apostle Johnson Suleiman speaks about Sunday Igoho, reveals what federal government should do. It's no longer news that Yorubas and Fuladi headsmen are clashing and working against each other. It was on Friday, that Sunday, Adeyomo, popularly known as Sunday Igohu, with his supporters, cashed together with Fulani headsmen, and it resulted in riot and unrest. It was reported that two headsmen were killed, and the house Seriki Fulani headsmen was burnt. Also, his cars, cows, were burnt down. According to Seriki Fulani, he had to walk through the whole night in the forest, running for his life. The Nigerian government, seeing what is happening, blamed Sunday Igohu for attacking the headsmen and also for the killing of the headsmen. The Nigerian government ordered the Inspector General of Police to arrest and kill Sunday Igohu. But many Nigerian politicians have warned mm -hmm. the Nigerian government not to take any decision that will destroy the Nigerian. Fanny Kayode mm -hmm. made it known that Sunday Adeyomo is a Yoruba leader who has the backup of Yoruba leaders. He, one of the most celebrated leaders in Yoruba, and if he should be killed, he might bring the war to Nigeria. Also, Senator Dino Milaye made it known that a wrong move might destroy Nigeria, warning the federal government to treat the Southwest issue with caution. Apostle Johnson Suleiman this morning revealing that headsmen should be told they don't own Nigerian. He disclosed that when a man is detained for his opposing view, that it indirectly means that a movement is starting. Mm -hmm. Thank you for listening to this news. Well, I've already said it before that we are inviting war. We are inviting mm -hmm. war by uh, by calling for the arrest of Sunday Go. Everyone is telling the federal government not to take that step, not to take that step, not to take that move. But it seems the federal government on their own side, they are proving adamant and stubborn. This guy is someone that is known in the Yoruba land and highly respected. You are calling him a top, a top mm -hmm. to the Yoruba mm -hmm. politicians. A top with prestige and respect. The respect and command that Sunday Ego control, even a responsible man in Nigeria does not control it. So, Buhari need to treat softly mm -hmm. and treat with caution, just like Apostle Suleiman has just said. Killing or arresting this young man is going to bring war, a very serious war in Nigeria. Buhari's administration must not lead us to war because it has already started it. 2020 should be a lesson to every one of us. We slightly escaped war in 2020. Mm -hmm. Slightly. We slightly escaped war. But many of us don't know. We would have ended up in war, but we don't know. You see that? So that is why we all need to be careful in what we do in our actions, in our movement, in what we say. <laughs>
let it not be that this issue of Southwest and the Fulani X-Men is what is going to lead Nigerian into war. Let it not be, because if it leads us to war, we are going to cry at the end. Because I can sense it and I can smell it. It's getting closer. And these things are what President Momo probably need to take note of. You need to take note of it. And you need to trade softly and trade with caution. You see that? I laugh. I laugh if Buari doesn't do what the people have said he should do. Femi Falano warned him seriously during the NSAS protest before the before before the soldiers came to the Lake Toge to massacre the, 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 the protesters. He warned him, he said, Look, man, don't release the soldiers. Mm -hmm. If you do, be ready to contend with, 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 with the ICC. Now I see that Buari doesn't want to learn his lesson. He doesn't want to learn his lesson. He hasn't learned. Hmm. He should better be careful. He should better be careful. You can see that everyone is trying to advise him is trying to tell him the right thing to do is trying to help him run the administration with peace but he doesn't want to understand now he has released tactical police team to oyo okay let's see what this one will be able to do but with the information we got this morning sunday igoho was able to confront and challenge this tactical police team without them being able to do anything to him you see that you see that okay so uh, my viewers a word they say is enough for the wise i can see that the the the, the old age of the president momo Bari, is not even moving him instead he's still pushing himself doing what he's not supposed to do so please my viewers do me free to leave your comment below the comment box click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive more updates thank you